we were discussing on the last um, broadcast, um, the last broadcast of this show, that we were going to uh, write to Devon County Council, Exeter City Council, about the flower beds in Queen Street, and I believe we got a reply. We did. So, do, do you want to go straight into that, John? We'll talk about that. Well. Yeah, well, why not? OK. Um, like yeah, well, you, you can uh, yeah. help me speak about that. But we did get a reply from um, the... Uh, transport planning. Transport planning officer, Mr Pratt. And um, he is actually called Mr Pratt. He is. Um, so I, I would just like to make that clear. And he said there is a basis for them. Um, and that's all I know. Well, OK, I'll... I'll Maybe I'll, we'll, we'll know we'll, more. Yeah, OK, look... Um, j- j- just for new listeners, um, on, on the previous shows, John has expressed concern. Yes, I've... Just I've to explain that a little bit, John. Well, I, I've expressed great concern because um, the Pelican Crossing isn't working. That nobody has got it fixed. No, it's, it's out of use. But just to be clear, they've, cl- they've closed it down. Yes, it is out of use, but they haven't they 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 haven't put another one in or what have you. So it's really really hard to figure out where to cross, and I think they're going to do away with the um you know the tactile paving and things. It's very misleading, and um. Well, so I, I would, I, John, John, so I'll, d- I'll just explain a little bit here. By tactile paving, you mean the little bumps in the in the sp- yeah. In the pavement. That is what is called tactile pavement. Okay. Um. Uh. And it's not so bad for a. Well, I am uh, visually impaired, but um, I use a wheelchair, so I can see pretty well to get by. Um. I have a lot of scent. I. I can use my central vision quite well, or the little bit of sight I do have. But if you were completely blind, um, you you would really struggle to know where the best place is to cross unless you walked all the way down to near Exeter Central Station and um, in order to get on the other side of the road safely, you... Um, you would need to use a zebra crossing, and I'm pretty sure cars would be pretty understanding if they saw somebody with a long white cane. Um, but I just, but I just don't like what they've done. I, I think they should put a new Pelican crossing in somewhere around Queen Street. So, well, so are, it's. Are you, th- <laughs> are you thinking of the, the crossing just outside the museum? Yeah, the one sort if, of if in the centre to, of the thing. If they're going to shut that crossing down, which it looks like they are, then they should they should put another pelican crossing in somewhere to replace that crossing. It's very important, and I'm very concerned about it. Um, so yeah, no, I don't like the way it's going. No, so I'll just so I'll, I'll just just read out a few a few of the bits from from the, the response we have had from Devon County Council. So. They're, they're saying that there was um, a, a concern because of the the lockdown r- regulations, um, a high volume of pedestrians on narrow pavements, very difficult to maintain so- social distance within that, and the space that's been taken has been taken from what was available to f- for cars or other vehicles, so there was no less space taken up that could have been used by wheelchairs, and also re- reducing the dominance of cars is part of the Exeter transport strategy. So al- although this is coming from Devon County Council, I think Exeter City Council must be consulted on, on some of these things. Well, but jo- John, can I just get to the, the, the what I yeah, think is the crux yeah, of this? I'm not, I'm not saying anything. Um, wheelchairs can travel the length of the widened foot, footway and rejoin the existing footway, that's the footway outside of this scheme, via dropped curbs or existing crossing points at either end. 
But what what you, you what you're saying is that those two ends are quite a long way away. Well, and, yeah. And you, if you if you if you expected to find that crossing and and found the the yeah. indication, you really have to that what, it was there. What I mean to say is, Exeter City Council and Devon County Council, if you're listening, um, it you have to really go out of your way. To in order to get on the other side of the road, so I think after lockdown or whatever you're doing regarding these flower beds, you really have to consider if you're going to take the crossing out uh, by the museum, Exeter Museum, you really need to consider putting a uh, pelican crossing somewhere else to replace that crossing on um, Queen Street, wherever that may be. Um, if if there was another pelican crossing put in somewhere else to replace that pelican crossing that you're going to shut down, I I I would under you know it wouldn't be so bad that it wouldn't be so bad um, if people wanted to use a pelican crossing to walk all the way down. But I just I just think it is it is quite terrible having to walk all the way down to find exists to find another pelican crossing when that pelican crossing has been available for for, for years ever since I've been um, ever since my adulthood or ever since I've been coming into town and that was um, when I was 16 and I was I was still um, at the blind school in Topham Road actually in in those days um and we actually i actually uh did some orientation and mobility training around um queen street at the time regarding things or regarding me get me getting around and i didn't um use a wheelchair at all at that time so i was on my feet and uh i always used to use pelican crossings because a pelican crossing is very useful for um, somebody in a wheelchair and somebody that is totally blind or severely sight impaired, whatever you want to call it, several names. And uh, the reason being is because if you can't see the green man when it, when the lights change, it, a lot of um, uh, pelican crossings has a thing underneath just underneath the pelican crossing um uh called a rotating comb and the rotating comb goes around in your fingers when the when the green man comes on so if you were completely blind it is quite misleading as it as it is at the moment as it is at the moment i'm not i'm not saying you shouldn't be doing what you're doing but if if you are if you are going to take that pelican crossing away from Exeter Museum, that crossing point, then maybe you could consider maybe putting a, pe no, a new pelican crossing in somewhere closer than walking all the way down to um, near Central Station to, to, to cross the road, because it is quite a way to go. The, the, the other thing, John, is mentioned here is that feedback from Mag Magdalen Road, sort of Mount Radford, the shopping centre around there, where they've, they've had a previous scheme, there was concern about uh, typical traffic management barriers. So they're, 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 I went around and had a look since I got this email. Well, they've done a similar thing in Madden Road, but what I'm struggling to understand is... The, the, they haven't they haven't put flower beds to to, <laughs> no. to 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 make an obstacle to make it a one way street but i don't understand the flower beds issue well what they say mm. is that the typical traffic management barriers which are metallic they're very you know they're the sort of thing you find on the side of a motorway yeah. so they're not they're not very attractive to <laughs> street uh, decoration or whatever and people have objected to them in Magdalen Road, in Mount Radford. What, the flower beds? No, not the flower beds, the, tra the traffic management barriers, as, they, as they're described. Well, I can so that metallic stuff. OK, well, I can, I, can, I, can, I can understand that, but I would have appreciated it more, or I could understand more if they, if they could put metallic stuff in Queen Street to make it a one-way street. Why did they ah. have to... Why did they, my issue is, 
What uh, de- apart from apart from what I just discussed, yeah. that's an issue. Yeah, uh, very serious issue. In fact, I'm I'm terribly surprised that um, ex city council and Devon County Council hasn't received any complaints from orientation mobility officers. Um, but I, I don't understand why they've had to make it a one way street uh, using um, flower beds. Uh, it's 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 terrible. Well, John, I think what's happened is that yeah. there were objections to to the metallic ones on a previous scheme, so they've got they've gone for the flower the flower uh, boxes then. Well, yeah. And there's, but, they, there's, 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 but John, what, do, do, what seems to happen? I'll put this down to me rather than blaming all the pedestrians next to. Her, okay. And I don't see it as a blame necessarily, but I don't think it was intended. Um. The, the, co- the consequence of the traffic scheme, because it's um, traffic coming in several directions, there's quite a lot of time when there's no traffic um, cars coming along the street at all. Yeah, but why did they so, have so, 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 can I just finish this yeah. point? So pedestrians can cross the road, and they are crossing the road. Um, I, 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 take, I, I think you're breathing too much, John, to, to I'd suggest taking your mask off. Or perhaps it's me. You do. Well, it's me. OK. Um, so is that what you find annoying or is that what gets to you? That, that because, of the, because there's just a whole load of, of flower boxes, pedestrians can nip across all kinds of places um, and just go between the Well, boxes. yeah, that as well, that as well. I just, I just think they could be a hindrance to, to some disabled individuals. Or people with mobility problems. Well, it certainly um, it certainly would would be confusing because the, the, when the when the pedestrians are going across, somebody it, with somebody yeah. somebody in a in a wheelchair just thinks, oh, maybe I can go across. Well, but yeah. there's no ramps anywhere, so no, no, it, it's not going to work. It's highly confusing, and um, I would hope that um, whoever's in charge would take my points on board, and if they want to discuss it further with me I'd be happy to do so well we're not allowed more guests in the studio at this time no but but I, we could we could we could have a discussion and or they could send us some a, 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 some video or something well they're very welcome um, because I'll, ju- I'll just make one one fu- one final point and then move on to that um, they're saying that the the, 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 the the they regard the planters as being attractive and the wider response has been generally positive so right. a lot of people like the, the flower plants, but they, they, they. What I'm slightly worried about, John, you, you seem to see the flowers as as a menace. So you're getting upset by them. Well, I am. I am getting upset by them. I, I just think it looks awful. You know, all the places they could put flower beds. Why do they have to put them in a road? I just think it looks terrible. I've never seen flower beds in the road. No. They they could have. They could have put them in a garden somewhere, or, 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 um, or, or around the cathedral somewhere to decorate the, you know. But I've never, I've never ever, in my life, seen flower beds plonked in the, you know, in the road, to to make it a one way street. Right, and, and you, uh, so you you see, you see the flowers as an obstruction. Well, I don't see the flowers in it as an obstruction. I see the more the more the more the actual wooden beds as as well. Well, yeah, they're just an, they're just really they're, they're they're really an annoyance to me. Irritating. Right. Okay. Well, what one sort of sideline of this? When I mean, we're doing this as radio, as local radio. This yeah. Is, this is, but this is about the third week we've we've covered it or said something about it found well yeah I only said something I only wanted to say something about it today is because you you said that you had an email from him yesterday yes yes so I wouldn't have cut, I wouldn't have spoken about the flat bed issue today and if you if, if we had if you said if you didn't say anything about having an email from them no well, but I, 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 well, it actually came um, at the end of last week but I, I'm, I'm I've raised it today because uh, we've got a show. Well, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's fine. What I'm, what, I'm, what I'm thinking is that we can extend it to YouTube and social media because we've done, we've done videos of 
Queen Street and also Paris Street and Magdalen Road. Yeah, well, if and like so I, that all of those things can be can be looked yeah, at. Like I said, I, I if they wanted to make it a one-way street, that's fine. That, that doesn't that doesn't bother me as such. But it's just it's just the way they've done it. I don't like it. No. Um, but anyway, we're going to move on. Well, no, no, John. Can I just say one one more thing? Um, yes. Just that ex, um, Exeter City Council did re- did make a comment, a reply comment on on my video. Right. Um, but it was only to say that it, that, that it was Devon County Council who were mostly concerned with the policy on it. But right. I'm, I'm sure Exeter City Council have got views on this sort of thing. Well, if, you would if, think, wouldn't you? Well, if, if if either parties would like to hear my concerns, they can feel free to get into contact, and uh, I'd be happy to go and meet them. Um, but I'd just also say I'll put a comment on... Both of them have got YouTube channels. Oh, and, yes. And so there's a discussion section on their profile. Yes. And... Um, I, I, I think this is a, a genuine issue which we should pursue, but it's also an example of what can be done with social media. And yeah, well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to upset anybody, or I, uh, um, you know, don't feel I'm having a dig at you, Devon County Council, because I'm not. I think you do, I think you do marvellous things, um, but I'm just uh, slightly concerned about. I am slightly concerned about them, um, and if you would like to hear more of my concerns in more detail you can uh, you know you can get in contact with us so with, we, with the we not know show and we will respond we are we are the we not know show w-e-n-o-t-n-o on twitter yeah or, and or we we are on phonic fm 106.8 fm in the exit area and www.phonic.fm on the internet so there's ways ways around it will Indeed there is.